All right, hi everyone, how's it going? And welcome to another video. Now I'm here today at another historic site. This site is near Toledo, Ohio, and it's where the Battle of Fallen Timbers took place. As you can see, there's a lot of fallen timber. Pardon the bad joke. But the Battle of Fallen Timbers is usually mentioned in most of the American history books. There usually will be a section talking about this battle. And this is the location of where it took place. The battle happened on August 20th, 1794. But before the battle took place, there were a number of events that led up to it. Now, when the Revolutionary War ended in 1783, the Americans signed the Treaty of Paris with Great Britain. And in this treaty, Great Britain agreed to give the Americans a large chunk of land in the West, including Ohio. Well, the Native Americans felt like they got a bad deal in all this because they didn't have any representatives to sign the treaty and to agree upon it. And they were going to lose a lot of land as a result of this. So a confederation sprung up as a result of this, a confederation of Native American tribes called the Western Confederacy. And it was led by two chiefs. One was Little Turtle of the Miami, and the other one was Blue Jacket of the Shawnee. And immediately, George Washington was alarmed by this, so he sent General Arthur St. Clair to try to stop this confederation and to essentially destroy it. However, he ended up getting defeated, and, he and Arthur St. Clair ended up losing 630 soldiers. Now, most of these soldiers were militiamen and frontiersmen. A lot of them were untrained, but this was the biggest defeat the U.S. Army had ever taken at the hands of Native Americans in all of U.S. history. You know, Arthur St. Clair lost considerably more troops than Custer did at the Battle of Little Bighorn. So, what then happened is Washington sent Anthony Wayne, who had fought in the Revolutionary War, he sent him to this area, and a battle ensued. Now, the Native Americans supposedly had used a lot of, like, fallen trees as kind of like a fortification. That's why it's referred to as the Battle of Fallen Timbers. And the fighting took place for about two hours, so it was about as long as the Battle of Tippecanoe. However, this battle was regarded as a decisive victory for the Americans. And they declared victory. The Treaty of Greenville was signed. And the Treaty of Greenville gave most of Ohio to the United States. Immediately, the United States had settlers come to this area. They settled it. And it ended up, Ohio ended up becoming a state in 1803. Now, as you recall earlier, I talked about the Battle of Tippecanoe a couple videos ago. And in that video, I mentioned how, uh, you know, Tecumseh was mad that, you know, settlers were coming in the area and didn't like the fact that all this land had been ceded to the United States. So he did not like the Treaty of Greenville. But yeah, this battle that took place here, I think it was about 30 to 40 U.S. troops killed. 
with uh, Native Americans, I think it was close to the same amount. However, like I said, it was regarded as a decisive win for the U.S. troops. But yeah, as you can see, this is a nice place to come to. I definitely like coming to these historic sites and walking around them because they usually have a lot of nice hiking trails that you could walk around. This one that I'm walking on now is about a mile and a half. And, you know, you can walk down these nice trails with all these trees around, you know, nice forested area. And you can learn about the history of what happened in this area. So, yeah, that's what I like about these sites. So, that's all I've got. If you've watched this video, as always, I thank you for watching. Have a great night.